Well, Disney market themselves as the happiest place on earth, but Liz, maybe they're the most confused place on earth. I'd say so. In a video that has over 7 million views now, we can see a fairy godmother apprentice with a moustache welcoming a little girl to Disneyland. Take a look for yourself. My name is Nick. I'm one of fairy godmother's apprentices. I'm here to shop you around and make all your selections for the day. Can you imagine being a little girl going to Disneyland expecting all these glamorous, gorgeous princesses and being met by Nick? Now, Disney Corporation has come out and said, this way, cast members that might not identify as female can still be part of the process to dress up and style the children without having to refer to themselves as a female Disney character. They actually said this back in 2022, which is when they first adopted this idea of having genderless characters appear in Disneyland. Of course, this doesn't really come as much as a surprise when you think of the Disney exec who last year came out saying even in the Disney movies they want 50% of the characters to be LGBTIQ going forward, etc. and so on. So Disney have, have actually not ever tried to hide mm. the fact that there are absolutely 100 percent on board with targeting kids with you know what messages? annoys me about that quote from the corporation is they say the reason we're doing this is so disney staff who might not identify as female can still be part of dressing up kids it's not about the staff it's about the kids and that's exactly. the thing they're missing here i know like if you want to you know remove gender from the concept of the fairy godmother's apprentices why don't they just put him in britches you know he can still have his moustache and he can still work for the fairy godmother he's just dressed up as a bloke with a moustache i mean you know you, you might forgive a, a woman in a moustache if it were an Eastern European woman. I, I took my kids to Disneyland when they were six years old, and I'm glad I didn't have to put up with stuff <laughs> like know. that and try and explain that to my six-year-old kids. <sighs>